Another day, another video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are watching Lost. This is the 24th episode of the first season. Hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. If you'd like to watch today's full episode, it is available for free in the link in the description below. Just click on it, put the password in, and enjoy. Speaking about links in the description, we are running our most liked to dislike characters of this season. Please do take 30 seconds if you've not yet voted, and your results of mine will be shown in the final episode of this season. And I can't wait to see who you guys choose. So very interesting stuff has been happening on the island. Yes, we finally got the raft in the water. It does float, and we've seen Sawyer, Michael, uh, who else got on it as well? We've seen Jin and Walt, you know, sail away, hopefully, so they can go and get some help. Um, it's going to be interesting. Maybe we get a full episode of them, you know, struggling uh, in the sea. Uh, I would like that, or especially a couple of, you know, a couple of minutes or a good good little segment of them bickering, do you know what I mean? Like, falling over each other. It's not very big, the raft. I mean, it's good enough what they could have done with the resources that they got available to make. But do you know what I mean? Um... I still think there'll be some sort of arguments along the way. Again, last episode, I thought there were some great moments between Jin and Sun. Um, at the very end, pretty much, she was hugging each other, pretty much saying that they were sorry for everything that's been going on between them and they love each other and he's doing this for her because he feels like he's being punished for the way he treated her. I thought it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Another conversation that I really enjoyed was between Jack and Sawyer as well. You know, obviously, he's getting on this boat and he's thinking that he's going to obviously get away and get saved. And like Michael was saying to obviously Walt, there's no chance, um, no, there's no certainty that they can come back and they can get these guys off the island once they do get found because finding this location after they drifted away is pretty much virtually impossible. But he'll say he'll do everything he can to obviously come and get them. And that's why Sawyer decided in the, you know, these final moments that he'll tell Jack the story about his dad and how he loved him and how he was sorry and how he thought Jack was a better man. Um, it was really, really good. And they had a great connection. Um, so I did enjoy that. And then we've seen them all venture out up until the Black Rock. Um, it's very good, mate. It looks like it's a ship that's in the, uh, you know, that's kind of like shipwrecked pretty much onto the island we've seen the black smoke as well danielle's turned up she's told everybody that they're coming for them um you know she told the story how alex her daughter was taken as well after the the black smoke um was seen in the tree seven days after she gave birth we know that claire's only just gave birth as well so maybe it's a sign that they're coming after her baby mate it's going to be exciting into the season can't wait for it thanks for checking out today's episode if you do enjoy it please smash the like it really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into today's episode <laughs> Everybody's leaving. Baby, and I'm, I'm, I'm so tired. I can't, can't carry him. It's gonna be okay. Oh, why do people keep telling me that? Are they the ones with the baby? I need a gun. Look, I know Jack gave him to you. I want one right now. I have to protect Claire. I'm not here all the time. You can't protect Claire. Look, I need a if gun. If you really want to help Claire, get her packed, carry her child to the caves. How exactly does something like this happen? We a couple miles inland, a tsunami probably swept it here. Huh? Right? Hey, where are you going? Explosives are in the hold of the ship. Rousseau, wait. I did what you asked. Oh, well, hold on, hold on. I came here to tell you how to handle dynamite, not explore some ghost ship. You think I'm going... Just stay out here. <laughs> that guy has a proper moaner that Ernst. Imagine dying tied up like that. That's a ruthless death, that, isn't it? <laughs> she says, I didn't sign up for this. Now you tell me, what the hell is that even supposed to mean? Am I boring you? Huh? You know what, I'm, I'm sorry. You people think you're the only ones on this island doing anything of value. There were 40 other survivors of this plane crash. He is right there. Okay. He is right there. You mind showing us the way? <laughs> You're not just Kate. Dude, this is all in your head. Really? Then you explain to me why Kate gets the best pieces of wreckage to build her shell. The Korean guy, does he catch fish for everybody on the island? No, he does not. He doesn't. Wait, wait, stop. Stop right where you are. Gently, gently. Damn it. Do any of you have any idea what happens to dynamite in 90 plus degree heat? Sweat. Nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin. <sighs> is the most dangerous and unstable explosive known to man. Have you ever hear about the guy who invented nitroglycerin? Probably not. He blew his freaking face off. Not gonna take any more of this stuff than we need because nitroglycerin is extremely temperamental. So we Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That was mad, mate. That was well mad. I did not expect that. I was gonna say, though, at the end of the segment, like, who is this guy? And why is he so, like, hardcore now? Like, because 
Honestly, don't need to like moan. Like for the last like three episodes, just moan, moan, moan. He seems a bit knowledgeable, to be fair though. I'm not gonna lie, he does seem knowledgeable. He was talking about the wind, he was talking about that dynamite then, do you know what I mean? He does clearly have some sort of uh, knowledge of the stuff that he's he's obviously talking about, but at the same time, just don't stop talking, man. I mean I thought I didn't think that he was being over the top with how he was reacting with the dynamite, but like, yo, step down, down, put it down slowly, move away, move away, move away. But mate, it turns out that <laughs> he was telling the truth, mate, because literally had one little shake of that, and that guy's gone. Now it makes you ask the question: How's you know how's um Danielle been managed to transport it out and using it? You know what I mean, like. How slow has she been going? And obviously, I said that why she left it there. Well, maybe that's why. Do you know what I mean? Because of it's too hard to transport all of it. Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm sure you are. Oh, the aftermath's not even not even as good as I wanted it to be. Do you have any paper towel there, bud? Uh, paper towel. This one's broken. You don't speak English. Ah, paper towel, Yogi. But for that. Back. The guy only took a job because he wanted to take care of his, well, love, you know what I mean? His daughter, and the guy's like treating him as if he's a random. How's a place this big never get discovered? Build yourself one hell of a beach resort right over there. <laughs> yeah, you build your resort. I'm happy to say goodbye to this place forever. Uh, like, literally, how fast does that boat move? Because honestly, it looks like it's going so slow. <laughs> okay, Shannon, she's got a proper kit out. All the bags and... I'm fine. These belong to your brother. I need these things. I can't just leave them. I get where Shannon's coming from, really. She wants boon stuff. It makes her think of him. You know what I mean? You can't really moan at that. He just exploded <laughs> in front of us it was an accident all right maybe this isn't the best way it's the only way jack you're just gonna carry it though all the way back because i wouldn't be after seeing him explode that's it mate i'd be done with that i'd leave it there how many do we need to blow the hatch two should take care of the hinge three to be safe safe i'm removing the driest pieces to minimize our risk transporting it okay I know we're in a rush to escape to the caves. This is uh, just a blanket from the plane. Bjorn, it's Dutch for uh, baby carrier. It's really Saeed, where is he? Russo, what? Saeed, where is he? Uh, he already left. I need him now. Just calm down, okay? I'll get him for you. Maybe that she clocks her and takes Saeed. a baby. Imagine that. Saeed! What happened out there? May I hold him? Uh. Why, why do you need Saeed? You don't want me to hold him. No, you don't I, know I, you, that's I, why. I, I don't think it's a good idea, okay? Wow. Yeah, mate. That, that was good, that, actually. You know, it actually was good. Now, it's making me think that is... Um, is she the person that set the smoke off to make everybody kind of leave, to kind of cause a diversion so she could come in and take the baby? You know what I mean? We've had the story that hers has been taken, so, you know, she sees another baby. She wants to raise it as her own. Uh, it's not that far-fetched of a, a possibility, you know? And, like, as soon as... She kind of sent Charlie away. I was I was looking. I was thinking, oh, mate, leaving them two together like that. Straight away, kind of hold your baby. Now, the thing is, though, it's like you don't know them. And I know that in real life, you wouldn't give your baby to somebody random. You just wouldn't. Like, so if you just had a kid now and he's walking, and even some family members, like, can I hold your baby? You'd be like, not that you don't trust them, but as a first child, you, you're proper scared and wary of anybody getting any anywhere near close at you in case anything happens to them so especially handing it over to somebody you don't even know slash don't even trust uh, i don't know man so i like that flashback then you know that when she scratched her arm that was pretty good we're getting everyone in today's episode what's going on my flight to la leaves in, in a couple of hours so you gotta get moving you know i'm gonna do one more bump for the road you did it all last night i got some champagne an autographed copy of my CD, and then you can listen to it whenever you want. I don't want your piece of crap CD from your piece of crap band. Holding out on me? Holding out on you? No, I'm not holding Give out on you. Give it to me. Give me what? I'm not holding anything. Give it to me. I've got nothing in my hand. Give it There's to me. Get up! Oh. Crazy what addiction does to you, isn't it? Uh, uh, uh. You're pathetic. Say 
He's took the kid. Claire, which way did she go? I don't know. She has a head start. If we leave now, we can catch her. How are we gonna do that? Because I know where she's going. We need three sticks to blow the hinge, then we should bring six. Fail safe. In case one of us. I'm carrying one. We're done here. This is not your decision. Kate, yes it is. We'll draw straws. I, I, I wanna know why Jack feels like he's in charge. You wanna carry some dynamite too? No, does he act, mate? You got some arms on you. Just like it's you and me, Kate. Here we go. Someone find us. Jack and they'll pick the island's thing up. Those are all the messages everybody wrote. Sure are. Who the hell is Hugo and how they got $160 million to leave to his mom? She has something that they want. She's making a trade? I believe she is, yes. She's insane. Don't try to apply reason to her actions. I'm coming with you. It's not a good idea, Claire. This is my baby, okay? I let her take him. Hey. Get him back, Charlie. That's it. Get Aaron back. Aaron? Aaron? What, what type of name that's got a relation to? Good twist, all that resource taking it and hoping for a trade. But they'll just take the baby and say, thanks, got another one now. I'm worried about Vincent. He's going to be okay, man. I got to call work right over there. I live in a studio apartment. I got to be out the door in the morning for work by 5 a.m. Who's going to watch him? Listen, I was thinking, um, I was thinking maybe you could take him. Then what am I supposed to do with him? He's not supposed to be mine. He stood right behind him. Hey, man. I was, uh... I need new batteries. You drive for a while. So, we're going approximately north by northeast. How come you and my mom didn't stay together? We tried and work out. Just went in different directions. How come I never saw you? Because your mom didn't want me to. What she thought was best for you. She was wrong. Well, that's good from, from Michael's point of view. Oh. Yeah. Got it. He's got it. He's got it. He is. He has got it. Oh, tie it around the runner and we'll pull you in. Come on, buddy. Why have you got a gun? If it. Oh, all right. You should. you should put that back on before you burn. I mean, I'm glad that he didn't say anything and judge him. If you want to get back to the hats, we're going to have to hustle. If anyone hears anything or sees anything. Life security system that eats people. It packs off, you put them down, and you run. Blow the hatch open, though. They'll never get it closed, will they? You died bravely, your brother. Do you think all this we've been through, do you think we're being punished? Punished for what? Things we did before. Who do you think is punishing us? No one's punishing us. No such thing as fate. He's gonna find all of the jokes. The plane was up there. Where did it come from? Drug runners in disguise. The plane was loaded with heroin. Now we go. At this stage, how Charlie's progressed, you know, shouldn't be picking it up. I would have understood it at the start. What do you think's inside it? Clean socks, soap, Twinkies, you know, for dessert. Twinkies keep for like 8,000 years, man. Mate, walking down on a slippery hill is not ideal. Maybe Jack falls in his ass and Kate panics. Whoever name this place, Dark Territory, genius. Oh, to be continued. I feel like this episode's gotten really quick, honestly. I really, really do. Like, but the interesting thing is there, uh, right? They're walking back with all that dynamite and they go into the door. And obviously, if they blow it up, like I was saying a minute ago, they're not going to be able to close it. So when they've been using the argument of uh, maybe whoever designed it don't want it to be opened and there's a reason for that, well, you're just going to destroy all of that, aren't you? Because they're never going to be able to close it. But again, I don't blame them. I'd be, I would rather smash it open and not be able to close it again than never be knowing what's inside of it. So, you know, I'd, I'd be buzzing that I'd do the short straw as well. I don't understand why Jack was so determined that he wanted to carry the dynamite. You know, it seems to me bad news. High chance of dying. Why would I want to be involved in that? Ernst as well. Is that his name? Wounder. Guy got blown up. Now, the interesting thing is, though, is that <laughs> um, he actually was giving some decent advice, wasn't he? He was saying that, you know, slow movements, don't shake it and all this stuff. And he was saying, um, you know, in the heat, it seeps and all that. And it starts coming out. And he's telling us how dangerous it is and that. Uh, the guy was moaning quite a bit, let's be honest, but he has to give some valuable advice, you know, without that knowledge of obviously that dynamite, you could have put it down to him just shaking it around and moving too quickly to it blowing up. Plus, you could also um, give him props for 
Sawyer and everybody sailing because he was the one that told him about the winds and obviously how often it's been raining and he needs to go north because obviously that's the shipping lane. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to go to the south, I think they were saying, because that's Antarctica. So, like, without his decent advice in the last couple of episodes, they wouldn't be where they are now with the benefits that they've got now. Like, yeah, okay, they've just been in the sea and, um, you know, that part of the ship's broke off or boat or whatever you call it. Um, and so I just got in and got it. Now, my concern would be how easy that... Oh, we hit a log. Mate, you're telling me that that's just going to fall apart when you hit one log. Now, what's going to happen when a big wave comes? What's going to happen if a shark or a whale or a dolphin's in the water and it's swimming around it? You know, one little knock from that, your boat's capsizing. It's done for. Do you know what I mean? But also, I'm thinking as well, right, is that... They keep saying, they've said many times before that, Jack, oh, you keep running around in circles. Circles, circles, circles. You know, like when he's on the island trying to explore and find things. We've also had a compass mentioned before that it's off. So when they're saying it should be this way and that we're going that way, I'm wondering if they go in the water and either something to do with the islands magnetically, not letting the waves go too far out, so they end up back in the same spot. Do you know what I mean? So, like, they might go out and sail for five days and then end up back on the other side of the island or something, if that makes sense. Or, um, yeah, like I said, the, the pull from the island just doesn't let them doesn't let them go, and they kind of, like, stay in the vicinity. Maybe that's the thing as well, because like I said, something to do with the compass is off, and I don't know if that might affect them, if they think they're going that way and they just go around in a big circle. But I like what uh, Waltz just said to his dad as well, that his mum was wrong for him not to be involved in his life. That's pretty good. And in the flashbacks, you know, I'm not going to lie, Walt would peck my head every time. Like, he's just a stroppy, moody kid. Like, when he, it was 5 o'clock in the morning and he put the Power Rangers on, and... All right, sound, but can you turn it down a bit? The guy turned it up more. Oh, Brian lets me do I don't care what Brian makes you do. Have some respect. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, Michael here, this episode, talking to him, just ignores him. Ignored, 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 ignored. Then Michael's saying all this mad shit on the phone to his mum, which is... Which he shouldn't be saying, really. What, to be involved in Walt's life and just what? Because he can't think of a babysitter that he's got for work tomorrow, that he, he's saying all this stuff, and obviously he's heard it. So, uh, sometimes you think you're ungrave, don't you? But... I like how they bashed across the flashbacks. So, like, in this episode, you had a bit of... Um, you had a bit of Charlie, a bit of Michael. Do you know what I mean? Um, I can't... I, I'm sure we had a couple more as well, to be honest. Oh, we had a Jin one as well. His dad, you know, her dad was still following him. He knew that he was escaping to America. She doesn't know that he knows that. Do you know what I mean? So, again, that was really interesting. But I think that... Well, I've said it a few times, but I think the last couple of episodes, or the back end of the season, have been really good. Okay, and that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you're not yet voting for your most liked to dislike characters of this season, then please do. Take 30 seconds, and your results of mine will be shown in the final episode, which is obviously tomorrow's. So can't wait to see you guys choose. It's going to be really, really exciting to see. Also, um, you know, I'm very interested to see what is going on with the baby and being taken and what, uh, you know, if Alex is actually alive, you know what I mean? Because uh, we had this interesting little flashback of Claire in the woods being grabbed by, obviously, Danielle, and she scratched her. She caused a cut on her arm. And, uh, you know, as soon as Charlie left, I kind of thought, ooh, it's a bit dodgy, this situation, leaving her on her own with the child, especially when she's got a gun as well and the fact that she's lost hers. Now, um... I thought it was actually a really, really good twist, to be honest. I never expected it, and, you know, I didn't, uh, like, I never even crossed my mind once, if I'm being honest, that Daniela possibly come and take the kid. Now, I still got the question of how did she get away the first time? That is my question. Like, so she got away from Ethan and she ran away, and I'm guessing that she bumped into Danielle on that run, and that is obviously where the chaos happened and, and the scratches. But, like, the whole context of how she got away from him, Ethan, the first time, I would like to know that and see that more, because, like we've seen, he was super strong, he was beating Jack up, he ki nearly killed Charlie, do you know what I mean? Like, she got away pretty easy without any bu uh, bumps and bruises, so that's be interesting to see. But now, obviously, we've got Charlie and, obviously, um... Saeed running towards the Black Smoke, uh, I, I, I want, literally, I want, big time, there to be some others there, because he's thinking that Danielle's going to do an offering. Basically, her child was taken, and she's thinking that I can go there, because, say, look, all these years ago, you took Alex, I would like him back, uh, like her back, sorry, and you can have, uh, you can have Turniped, or Aaron, Aaron, um, basically, in return. But I reckon, if I was the others, and, 
who takes kids and not asked, I'd be like, thanks, I'll just have this kid and keep Alex as well. So you just give us another child and lost out on your own again. You know what I mean? Um, but I want them to be there. I want to see them. It was like when we watched the 100 and we seen um, the grounders. At first, we seen Lincoln hiding around in the trees, kind of like, obviously, Ethan, if you were to say that, you know, it was only one of them for quite a long time. And then we just got a massive influx of more and more coming in. And like I said, if I could choose, I would hope that there was a mole in the camp or somebody that's hiding in plain sight that been trying to guess all season who's infiltrating everybody and just causing chaos as well. I've been saying that it's uh, it's Locke, but obviously we've had a couple of backstories of him. So if it is him, it wouldn't make any sense because the guy actually has been off the island. He's had his kidney took out, hasn't he? You can see that it's been from an operation. So it would make sense that he actually isn't part of the island. But I would like it if somebody was. I would like it if somebody was. But, you know, you can see Shannon as well. She's still suffering from Boone's death. I can't blame her. She's sad. She's upset. She's carrying his clothes. You know, she's not in a right state frame of mind. Why would anybody be mad and angry at that? That is just standard practice, isn't it? You know, people go through all these emotions when people die. Especially on this place as well. You'll feel like even more alone, won't you? And nobody to moan with. So, you know, I'm not going to give her any hate. I actually want her to step up and be a bigger character next season. I want this to kind of like give her motivation and the progression to move forward. So I'm excited. Hopefully Charlie didn't take um, you know, the, the drugs as well. It's right there in front of him. The heroin is loads of it as well. Uh, we didn't actually see anything. We just seen him looking down. It'd be real, real character progression if he, if he did leave it. But I think that's too easy. I feel like he is going to take it. And now he knows the location. He could just go back more and more and more. So again... Loads of things to find out. One episode left of the season. Can't wait to see how we end. Thanks for checking out today's episode. If you do enjoy it, please smash a like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.